Hey, my name is Shadow Sensing, and you're watching Master of Detective Archives Rain Code. There's a tablet device in front of the clock tower that might have something to do with the nail man. Wow, it's the clock tower murder report. Oh, is that what that is? That's very helpful, actually. The details of the case are on here. Clock Tower Murder Case Report. Crime Scene Clock Tower Storage, third floor. Victim, female, age 20s to 30s. Identity to be, ident identity to be confirmed. Estimated time of death unknown. Time of discovery approximately 7 a.m. The body was found around 7 a.m. Hmm. And it's a little past 8 a.m. right now. So roughly an hour ago. So it's only been an hour since the body was first found. No wonder things are so hectic. The body may even still be there. Another body. Oh, if we can get pe take a peek at the corpse, anyway, we'd get so many clues. There's more to that report, right? First on scene, clergy member and several peacekeepers. There was a report of a suspicious person behind the church. The victim was discovered during the investigation. The murder is suspected of being related to the nail man killings. A suspicious person behind the church? But the area behind the church is... I mean, you can hop off, hop over those bars easily. All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind ah, the church. Ah, right. This summons the nail man, who will kill that person for you. Or so the legend goes. Yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot, apparently, there's a forest. <laughs> They pursued someone they thought was the nail man and found the body. Note, the door was locked from the inside at the scene of the crime. The only window was sh uh, shuttered and also locked from the inside. There are no other entrances. It seems to be a completely locked room. This matches the nail man's modus operandi. There we go! Locked room mystery time! So we gotta figure out how he was able to go in and out. Does the nail man turn his crime scenes into locked rooms like this every time? A phantom who vanishes like smoke in a room with no way in or out. Just the thought of it makes me drool. Stop getting horny over this. Suspect I apprehended a suspicious individual near the clock tower. Suspect was found with multiple hammers believed to have been used in the crime. Name? G.A. Colon. Age 48. Occupation unknown. The suspect claims he was repairing the clock. No witnesses or alibis. The peacekeeper's current investigation suspects him to be the nail man. Communicate only the information found in this report to the media. Okay. Captured some dude and assumed he's the nail man. Just because he had a bunch of hammers. You gotta search the crime scene yourself to find the truth. Yeah, maybe you're right. You finally getting into it? Took you long enough to warm up. I should take that tablet with me. Now let's go. The scene of the crime is the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower. Yeah, let's hurry. Before the peacekeepers wake up, you should go hide someplace safe. I'll be right back once I check inside. Alright. Now off to the clock tower we go! Alright, get out of here, kid. Rusty fence. Uh, this fence is completely rusted. There's a lock on it, and it doesn't seem to be seem like there's any way through. Why not just go grah and kick it down? I definitely can't do that. Yeah, and that's strong enough. There's a blue light in there at the base of that tree. Is that what constitutes a forest? Or is there a forest beyond? Oh, yeah, I, I guess there's woods and stuff. I don't know if I would call that a forest. Anyway, let's go inside. Can't wait to see how cool it looks on the inside. J. Colin's a- oh. Yep, that's Clock Tower, all right. Love it. Let me just take a quick sip. Come on, let's go! Go, go, go! 
I'm going as fast as I possibly can. And the music got real ominous. Rude. What if I want to be fat? Hmm? Gotta stop equating health with body weight. That was cool. Love the lightning. Okay. Is there... Anything to look at here? No, we just keep going up. There's like... A red arrow? Oh, it's a red arrow pointing up. On the mini-map. Ah yes, all doors are suspicious. The crime happened in the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower, so it should be right behind this door. Does this constitute the third floor? There may be a corpse still in there. You've already seen plenty of corpses on the Amaterasu Express. Now party it up! <clears throat> that doesn't mean I want to see any more. To be honest, until I opened that door. None of it felt very real to me. I'd been treating the like a bandage, just rip it off, man. Happened to someone else long ago. But the moment I opened the door, all of my delusions vanished in an instant. Ooh. Well, that's upsetting. Ugh. What is this? That's a ton of dolls, too. Is that a real corpse? It's not some mannequin, is it? Touch it and find out. This blood is real? How? Why? Jeez, it's just some freakish, gruesome murder scene. Get it together. <laughs> As your mentor, let me just say that you'll come across this stuff all the time as a detective. Dead bodies fucking everywhere. Investigate. Uh, hurry, before the peacekeepers come back. Shinigami, you don't feel anything after seeing this body? No, she's a death god. Uh, you're asking me how I feel about death? Well, let me tell you, this is totally ordinary. This ordinary? It's absolutely abnormal. She's a death god. It's normal for it to be abnormal. You're dealing with a murder case in a city like this. You can either accept it or go insane. Blood is just a liquid, a body is just an object. Got it? Now take a look around before someone gets in your way. Chop chop. Yeah, we need to be doing some investigating. You're right. I should hurry before the peacekeepers return. Yep. Now let's start the investigation. Loading, loading, loading. Oh, also, any clues you find during your search will be recorded by yours truly. Helpful. It will all materialize once you get to the mystery labyrinth later. I don't want to go back there anymore. Someone will die once the mystery is solved. <laughs> you are so naive. Having sympathy for the criminal you're catching. What place is suspicious? Inspect an investigation marker to gather information and solve the case. New solution keys can be acquired by advancing the uh, the investigation. Cool. Investigation. All right. So we have the corpse. I guess I'll have to search the body, huh? The moment we've all been waiting for. You're lucky you got here before they took See if she has any gold in her pockets. I can't stomach calling myself lucky when I think about the victim. This is definitely a real corpse and not a doll. I don't know who this woman is. Strangulation marks around the neck. Include any details. That was probably the cause of death. And then she was just nailed down. But no matter who she is, she didn't deserve this. Cut the chatter, master. Hurry, hurry. This is terrible. <clears throat> the body is covered in nails pinning her to the floor. What's this? There's a mark on the neck. It's either strangulation. It looks like a rope pattern. It looks 
like a rope burn. Yeah. And then there's some like lines underneath it. The vertical scratch marks were made by the victim as she struggled. Oh, yep. A victim usually ends up with marks like this when they thrash around while getting strangled by a rope. That's fairly typical when it comes to strangulation victims. Seen it a bunch of times. So she was killed by strangulation? The Peacekeeper report didn't say anything about the cause of death. Hmm, I wonder why. It should have been easy to figure out. They didn't investigate at all! They got the chance to see a corpse up close, and they blew it! They blew it! <laughs> In any case, finding out the cause of death is huge. Yep, cause of death was strangulation. All right, what else is in here? All on the wall. There are dolls nailed all over the walls and floor. What a ghastly sight! All the dolls. Yeah, it's are a little creepy. Deep. They're looking at me as if they're full of hate. It would have taken a ton of time to do all this by hand. Why would the culprit go to the trouble to do this? Nail bomb? Maybe it's to link it back to the urban legend about the nail man. All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill them. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the nail man, who will kill that person for you. Or so the legend goes. Whoever is killed by the nail man is pinned by countless names. I don't know if they're countless. You can definitely count them. trouble to imitate an urban legend. Or maybe it's the real nail man. I have a strong feeling it's a copycat. <laughs> now I'm scared. I told you I'm not good with occult and horror stuff. <laughs> uh, uh. I was a death god not good with occult and horror stuff. You're a death god. Come on. This part seems important. Maybe. Hang on. I'm looking. I'm just stepping over a bunch of dolls. Oh, I can't step over the corpse. Be funny if I could. Yeah, there's just so many. The, oh, the door. This is the only door in the room. The lock is broken. They say the door was locked from the inside when the body was discovered. That so they be the peacekeepers. Yeah. The lock to get inside. Had to bust in. So the inner lock is the type where you turn a latch. I don't see any evidence of it being tampered with. There's a keyhole on the outside of the door, but it's filled up and rusted. This didn't happen recently. It may have been like this way before the incident. Hey, why is the keyhole plugged? They might have figured it was unnecessary. The inner lock is probably left over from when the room needed both locks. Either way, it doesn't seem like we can open it with a duplicate key or anything. There's no gap when the door is closed. It'd be hmm. hard to tamper with it. Yeah, it would be. The only way to unlock this door is to turn the latch from inside. Can we dust it for prints? Hmm. All right, let's take a look at the window. So this is the only window. They've installed shutters instead of glass. Technically not the only window, but the stained glass outside, I guess, doesn't count as windows. The building's old age. It must have been added later on. The window's big enough for someone to fit through. Note, the door was locked from the inside at the scene of the crime. The only window was shuttered and also locked from the inside. As there are no other entrances, it seems to be a completely locked room. This matches the nail man's modus operandi. According to the Peacekeeper report, the shutters were already closed at the time of discovery. Hmm. So they've been left alone like this. Well, hey, how about you try opening them? Worth a shot. <sighs> no, nope, it's locked. It open. It's locked. Were the shutters locked when the body was discovered? How do we open them? Maybe there's a secret password or something. No, I don't think it's a password. Hey, there's a latch on the left side. I think I can move it. Oh! All right, it opened. Handy. The latch was pretty light. It can be easily adjusted. It's rather high up. It's above the third floor on most buildings. It's impossible to jump off from here. 
Even if you tried climbing down, unless he was an occult there. creature. I was gonna finish my sentence. You can see the big clock above, but there's nothing really suspicious here. Hmm. Unless he had a rope. Difficult for the culprit to get in and out from here. A rope or a grappling hook or something. Oh, I apologize for yawning. Oh, it's locked again. Oh, uh, locks automatically when the shutter's closed. Master, why are you still playing with the shutters? You want to be friends with them? No, that's not it. Oh. Now it won't go down. Okay, interesting development. I get it. This shutter stops once it goes all the way up. But when set halfway, it's designed to fall down with its own weight. And if it goes all the way down, it automatically locks. I don't get it, but you're really fixated on these shutters. I'll make them a solution key for you. Just in case you open a shutter shop one of these days. Oh yeah, you know, the shutter shop that I'm definitely going to open. For all the people who... There's Does anybody use window? shutters on their windows? Unless you're in, like, Tornado Alley or, like, you know, Florida where there's a ton of hurricanes. And even then, does anybody use shutters and not just board up? What's that? I don't know. Did you find something interesting? I will claim ignorance on that one. Okay. Oh, wait. Under the window. The bottom of the window is wet. Maybe some rain got in when you opened the window earlier. No, the parts starting to dry are leaving stains. This didn't get wet just now. Then maybe it's the tears from the nailed dolls. Yeah, you know, the simplest explanation is often the correct one. <laughs> no more horror stuff! More dolls? Here too? These two are lined up and nailed together. Use as footholds? Huh? What's this? A yellow thread is attached to the nail in the doll. On a closer look, it seems the thread left marks on the nail. What could it mean? Interesting. Mm, this is suspicious. You should remember this. There are scuff marks on the nails driven into the dolls. Okay. That Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. And that's a wrap. An investigation can be ended once you're finished examining everything. Feel free to stop whenever. Okay. Interesting. That should do it for the investigation for now. There's another thing that popped up, but I think it's just about dolls. Yeah, I get it. Without a doubt, this murder crime scene is a locked room mystery. It's an impossible crime. But it's not impossible if it inside, happened. And the only window had shutters that were also locked. It's a locked room mystery. Wait, what's cute about that? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm taking in this luscious locked room atmosphere. <laughs> anyway, let's leave before the peacekeepers come. They just cause more trouble for us. True. Huh? Need oh, to get the fuck wait. out. Finished. Oh, can I still look at that? I see, oh, I no. See. Do you see? Do you see? Dang. No more seeing. Speaking of which, what's this ladder over here? Should we take a look? Yeah, it can't hurt. There doesn't seem to be anything suspicious about it. I think that kid said his dad was here to fix the clock. Oh, so that's the clock. Yeah, it probably so leads to all the gears and stuff. Fixing it? Or maybe he was just about to start fixing it. Probably doesn't matter either way. Nothing matters to me besides the locked room mystery. Well, I'll think about it later. Let's leave this place for now. Back down the stairs. The long, long staircase descent. Y yeah, this is all stuff that I've already... Wait, credible rumors suggest there's... 
a behind the scenes connection to Amaterasu Corporation. What? Okay. Interesting. Mm, they're oh, still knocked the fuck you. out. Over here. You find something? Oh, what's the matter? What's up? Find a body or something? Over here. What if he's trying to lead me to a crime scene? Or a potential crime scene where I will be murdered? Just realized I didn't save it last episode at all, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. How far does this go? There's a break in the fence. Are you keeping up, Master? While you were checking the clock tower, I took a look around the building, and I found these footprints. Oh. Maybe these belong to the culprit. You know, that's entirely what? possible. The culprit? I'm not sure. Let's check. There are a set of footprints on the wet ground near the wall. But it's only Did he climb up the wall? The only thing I can discern is that What if he's like a Spider-Man? They could be loafers, but the footprints seem strange. Yeah, what's weird about them? What's strange about them? Look, the footprints are facing the wall. This looks like whoever made them was walking toward the wall. Yes. Saying the guy disappeared through the wall? We're dealing with wall facing man now? <laughs> First the nail man, and now this. It's a phantom party. Dude, I want to go to a phantom party. The end right under that window. Is this just a coincidence? Oh. Or does it have something to do with the murder? Are these the footprints of the real culprit? Maybe he just has really strong ankles and just dropped. Hmm. Well, to be honest, there's not much I can say with just this. At the very least, I hope... Or I he can jump really high. ...aren't his father's. Hey, what kind of shoes does your dad usually wear? Huh? His shoes? Yeah, kid, one he talk about your dad's shoes. shoes. He was wearing them today. <clears throat> All right, so that rules Does him out. Wear loafers? Sometimes, but not usually. It would be one thing if he didn't own a single pair of loafers, but I can't rule him out yet. So I feel like you can, but I'm not the detective the here. Discovery of these footprints. Mm, in that case, I'll remember it for you. Thank you, Shinigami. So, do you think you can find <clears throat> the real culprit? Yeah, I think. Maybe. I might need a little more time, though. I see. Oh, but don't worry. I'll find a way. Thank you. I know he's worried about his dad. If he really is innocent, I want to prove it. While I'm at it, maybe I should ask him more about his father. Um, did you notice anything different about your dad this morning? Yeah, was he drunk? Was he high? Anything? Um, my dad went out late last night to work on the clock, so I didn't see him this morning. A uh, night shifter. He was out since last night, so he stayed the night here? Seems like it. That's his job. His job is to repair clocks? He doesn't just repair them, he also sells them. Watches and wall clocks, too. Oh, so he's a regular clockman. Oh, so he's a watchmaker. Is see the scissor man from Clock Tower? Wait, the That'd be a twist. Said his occupation was unknown. Maybe it's more convenient for them if they intend to declare him as the culprit of the mailman murders. Oh, yep. He's getting framed as the culprit. They're definitely Maybe just the trying to be like, hey, nothing to see here. We caught the guy. Does your dad also manage this clock tower? No, he only checks on that clock once a year. But yesterday, he got an urgent request to fix it. So he was lured in. The clock wasn't keeping time, so he was called to repair it. My dad is usually happy to repair any clock, but he always grumbles about how much he hates the clock tower. He hates it? Why? Because he's afraid of heights. He's scared of even climbing up the clock tower. But he bites the bullet and does his work without looking outside. A 
fear That's of what heights. I would do. I also have a fear of heights. He's afraid of climbing the clock tower and refrains from looking outside, so it sounds serious. Yeah, he couldn't have climbed out that window and Master, dropped. You're improving so much thanks to my training. You're even getting better at pretending to think. <laughs> I'm not pretending. <laughs> Pretending to think. Fear of heights. So it couldn't have been the dad. Hmm? Uh oh. I hear noise outside. The peacekeeper's I awake. Hear talking. Maybe those guys woke up. Let's take a look. If all the peacekeepers wake up, they'll be sure to pay you back for this. Can I unlock uh, the fence this way? Say. Nope. Can't. Dang. All right, all right, what's all this then? Move along, move along. I'm stuck on bushes. Oh! Everyone, please wake up. This is Amaterasu Peace the Investigation Team Section Chief Seth Burrows. Oh, please tell me that's Prozidi. Sung one show. I think. Please tell me I got the, yeah, Sun Wong Cho. Pretty sure this is his name. Late. Please wake up. This is Amaterasu Peacekeepers, Investigation Team, Section Oh, they have their own Burrows. investigation team, okay. They have their own detectives. Yeah, maybe turn on the megaphone. Hurry and wake up. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. It appears there are fools in town who do not comprehend the majesty peacekeepers many of them have been eliminated already good job keep them low some outsiders have recently arrived <clears throat> go find witnesses and extract information to see, to see who has interfered with us they may still be nearby capture anyone that even appears suspicious uh oh we got to get out of here. Oh, and did you clean up the body at the crime scene? If not, then hurry along with that. The rain in this city makes bodies rot quickly. You better hurry or it will putrefy. Ooh, gross. To speed this case along, we need to quickly deal with that nail man we arrested. Are you just gonna torture a confession out of him? We should even consider a public execution. Whoa, that went from zero to 100 real fast. Jeez. about the truth he just wants to wrap up this case as soon as possible in this city what they say becomes the truth please, please save my dad. i'm gonna save your dad chill the only way to save your dad is to catch the real culprit i can do it leave it to me really thank you but first we have to leave this area before they find us i know a secret way out Oh, you can pass convenient to get back to a street in Ginma district. You might stand out if you're with me, so I'll go a different direction. Are you sure you'll be okay alone? Yes, I play around here often. Um, please help my dad. I also yeah, love how the voice wait. actor is just obviously an adult trying to do a little boy voice. Anyway, that feels like a good place to stop for now. So we will continue this investigation and leave the churchyard undetected next time. So, thank you guys so very much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.